So there was some uh, a video about finding top dead center and somebody commented about a, uh, using an indicator to find top dead center. And so there was some confusion about how that was done. So I'm gonna show you how to use a standard dial indicator to find top dead center with a degree wheel. All right, so once you get your, your mag base indicator, if you bolt it down ever how you attach your indicator, just put it on the center of the piston, or, or I mean, center's not even all that important, but just find zero, find, find the highest point, and zero the indicator. And then once you get it zeroed, and obviously the degree wheel's on, and we've already eyeballed zero, eyeballed TDC. So then just, just like you would with a, with a rigid stop, so we're just gonna come down a, a given number, and this thing's got rings in it, so it's a little more aggravating. It's a, it's a big motor. All right, so that's 16 and a half on the wheel. So we'll go, sorry, we'll go 100 down on the other side. And that's 16 and a half. So, and, and obviously I've done confirmed it, but if we just make both sides be the same, and then we know that zero on the wheel is zero. So it works just like a rigid stop. And some, like, you know, the stop I got, it's not wide enough for LS because the, the bolt pattern and the small block forwards too, they're kind of aggravating. So this system just works fine. It's not an issue. Aluminum blocks are a little tricky, but iron blocks, I mean, with a mag base, it's just, it's just that simple. All right, that's how it's done.